Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be showing you how you can integrate Google Calendar with your Slack account. If you are ready to streamline your schedule and boost them your efficiency, stick around for this tutorial. First thing first, we are going to sign in. I am going to speed up this process. Before we jump into the tutorial, let's talk about why integrating Google Calendar with the Slack is a game changer. By doing this, it allows you to seamlessly manage your schedule, you can receive even notifications, and keep your team in sync without juggling multiple apps. And once you're logged into your Slack account and you are in your workspace, on the left side you can see there's an option under the home. Just click on more. And now from here just click on automations. This will open up the directory for the apps that you can add. For this time we're going to add the Google Calendar. If you can't find it right here, you can also search for it right here at the search bar. This will open up this one. Let's select this, click on add. This will open up a new page. And now right here, you need to click on add to Slack. Once you do that, this will ask you for some of the permissions and you need to allow it in order to continue. And once you're done with it, just click on allow. And in the next step, you need to select the account that you're using for the Google Calendar. Upon selecting that, you need to continue and then click on allow. This will redirect you to the Slack. And there you go. Right under the direct messages, you can see there's an option for the apps. Just click on it. Now you will get every notification that is in your Google Calendar right here in the Slack. You can also turn on it. Just click on this turn on and you're good to go. And there you have it. Now you can view and manage Google Calendar events directly within Slack. You will also receive the event reminders and updates in Slack as well. You can also share the Google Calendar events with your team members and coordinate meetings just like that. And there you have it. If you have any questions regarding this, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, make sure to leave thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.